my dad actually started getting me to play the violin when I was three years old. Um, and of course, since I went to First Baptist, I also got to hear a whole bunch of church music. And I was like, ever since then, I've been like hooked onto music and I was just really, you know, wonderful feeling every time I hear it or listen to it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to play it. I joined the um, band there and I started on flute. Um, and of course, come my junior year in high school, uh, Mr. Walker asked me to be in the orchestra um, and I started on violin. Um, and that was like a really amazing experience because I would never really played in, uh, in an ensemble on violin. I'd always done it with flute. Well, I'm really excited actually that there's gonna be um, an Academy for the Arts because really what I've been seeing, um, so I started flute in a public school setting, you know, my public school, um, middle school band. And what I've been noticing is, and I've talked with other people around um, the state is that the arts, you know, start to get, in comparison to other uh, school functions like sports and other things, the arts sort of, you know, get crowded out and they get uh, stuck in a small little section. So um, with the fact that this academy is going to be bringing music into a church setting, um, I'm really hoping that it can bring a lot more opportunities for the people that want to grow as musicians um, that don't have the opportunity to do so in a public school setting. Um, because, you know, Music is something that's just, I feel like, is underappreciated when you think about the other, like, parts of society. Um, even though it's, like, such a moving thing, you know, people wouldn't include music with movies or other moving um, images, you know, if they didn't know that it was not going to help you be moved by it.